Neo is a Chinese-based electric car company that had some rough times in 2019, but they seem to be picking up some traction now. They're producing mainly a couple of electric SUVs that have been doing fairly well in China. Definitely not at the same quantities of Tesla production, but they're reaching all-time highs, which is good to see. They've surpassed 3,700 vehicle deliveries in the month of June, and this is primarily between the ES6 and the ES8, which are both kind of luxury SUVs. You know, the ES6 starts at around 50 thousand dollars and can go up to around eighty thousand dollars so not quite hitting the lower price points that the tesla model 3 or probably the model y will reach once it starts coming out in china but the most impressive thing this company is doing that i wanted to talk about in today's video because i think it's a really interesting dilemma for electric cars is the swappable battery packs that these vehicles are rocking not that many other electric car companies can get this to work viably and neo has recently surpassed five hundred thousand vehicle battery swaps with their own cars at their battery swap stations, which there's a little over 130 of around China. And Tesla even tried to have a battery swap station in 2014 for the Model S, but they did not see much demand for it. They didn't see that many people interested in it. And it comes with its own set of pros slash cons. And I've seen a lot of people on the internet go either way. So I thought weighing some of those pros and cons would be kind of interesting in today's video because there honestly are a lot of great perks with being able to swap out battery packs. So the premise is fairly simple, right? Electric vehicles take longer to charge. That's one of the reasons a lot of people are kind of scared to move over to electric is because gas stations have just been so simple for them, right? They just drive to the station, they're out of there in five to ten minutes, and they can go a very, very large distance on that one tank of gas. So instead of charging up a battery, which can take 30 minutes to an hour, depending on the charge point you're using, why not have a machine that you drive into takes the battery pack out of the car and replaces it with a fully charged one, and you can get out of there in three to six minutes, which is what Neo has showcased at their swap stations. This also comes with a powertrain checkup, so the station is able to make sure that the vehicle is operating normally and see that everything is working properly, and then you can continue to drive the car on a full charge, and it only took somewhere between three to six minutes, which is pretty cool knowing that they've been able to make a machine that can swap out batteries that easily. Obviously, your old battery then goes and stays in that charge point, gets charged up, and Neo has talked about the benefits of the swappable batteries involving that you don't have to worry about buying a car and later finding finding out that new battery chemistry has just been announced or some new energy density breakthrough has taken place and now they're going to instigate that in new cars and you're stuck with the older car in the older battery pack. With this technology, you'd be able to obtain the better batteries with the better chemistry just by Neo rolling these new battery packs out to their swap points. And suddenly now your car can have a better range or better energy density as the battery chemistry gets better and improves. All right, so it's a lot faster than charging up even than a version version 3 supercharger, you can't beat 3 to 6 minutes. It involves keeping the car up to date with the latest generation battery chemistry. Neo has proven they've been able to swap battery packs many, many times, and you can even lower the overall cost of the vehicle by technically selling the car without the battery pack, which sounds a little bit weird because obviously, yes, when you buy the car, it will have a battery in it, but instead, Neo is kind of proposing a battery pack subscription option where now, instead of buying an entire battery pack that stays with the car, you now rent a battery pack and you can change the size or energy density of that pack and lower your monthly option. So if you don't need to do a lot of driving, you can rent a very, very cheap battery pack and your monthly expense for that car will be much lower. But if you want to take a long road trip, you can decide to rent a longer range battery pack, put that inside the car and now it can go away further. And when you're done with it, swap back into a regular size battery. Seems like there's a whole lot of benefits with this. So a lot of us are wondering why isn't Tesla or other EV companies looking into this? And the truth is because it's expensive. Expensive. If we take a look at some of NEO's operating costs in previous quarters, we can see that they're kind of struggling to turn a profit. Obviously, the fact that the ramping vehicle production and able to deliver more SUVs to people is helping, but the fact that they're outsourcing production, I think, might be part of the problem because they're not actually building the cars. They're outsourcing that to other brands, so that might come with its own set of drawbacks, but it doesn't take a genius to see that these swapping stations actually have a ton of moving parts because unscrewing a battery pack, moving it to be charged, and then bringing out the fully charged battery pack and screwing it back into the vehicle, all within three to six minutes, takes a lot of engineering. That's a lot of moving parts. And the more moving parts you have, the more likelihood there is for something to go wrong and the more complicated it is to set up. All of these swapping stations basically just have room for one car. One car backs in, gets its battery pack swapped, and moves out. And because Neo has not delivered a crazy amount of vehicles compared to something like a Model 3, where, you know, giga 
Giga Shanghai is producing 20,000 of those things in June, whereas Neo just had their best month in June delivering 3,700 vehicles. And that, I think, means because there's significantly less Neo vehicles on the road today, that Neo hasn't really experienced the downsides of what happens when tons and tons of people are buying your car, and now all of them want to start battery swapping their vehicles at the same time. I think this might work in more niche examples. It might be more practical if you're in the city and you're not driving as great a distance. I think there's a reason Tesla decided to not go forward with battery swapping stations, and that's why Model 3s and Model Ys do not have the hardware equipped for battery swapping anymore, despite Tesla looking into it way back when. Their whole motto and their whole premise when it comes to developing electric cars is the best process is no process, and the best part is no part, which essentially just means Tesla likes to keep things simple. That's kind of why they're against hydrogen, is it feels like this giant extra middle step of having to use energy to capture hydrogen to put it into the car, and then the car can convert that into electricity. Why not just put solar panels on the roof, collect energy, pump it into the battery pack. It's fairly easy to understand and it's fairly simple to work. And that of course results in the operating cost being a lot lower. So the simple fact is expanding a supercharging network or an EV network of any kind is significantly cheaper than putting up these swappable battery stations. Because for one, you have to make sure that they're reloaded with new battery packs all the time. And as we know, the most expensive part of an electric vehicle is the battery pack. And yeah, you can offset some of that cost by selling your vehicles without the battery pack and renting it to the consumer and that can bring the upfront cost a lot lower but not so much the long-term cost because you're never really going to own a battery pack so that kind of takes away some of the EV perks which Tesla has been advertising so much of hey yeah the electric car is a bit more expensive but you don't have to pay for gas anymore so your monthly expenses for the car are much much lower once you start selling people a rentable battery pack you kind of lose that argument because now you could end up spending a lot of money on battery packs Packs. And it may not be as expensive as gas, but it's definitely a monthly subscription that a lot of people in America probably wouldn't get on board with because in more spread out areas here, people like to own their cars outright. And at least when they get a loan on them, they know that they're working towards ownership eventually. And while it is nice to offset that cost and make the car cheaper for the consumer, that means that Neo is now having to pay to service all these swappable battery stations. And they're also having to pay to charge all those battery packs and refill them with new battery packs for new cars to swap in and out of. And that means that Neo has to spend a whole lot of money on that infrastructure. And again, right now in the early stages, there's only a little over 130 of them and they're all based in China. So once they start scaling production and once they start having more and more vehicles on the road, I think they're gonna start realizing that the swappable battery station is gonna cost them a lot to operate, significantly more than just rapidly expanding your supercharging network or your fast charging network of any kind because those basically just acquire a few boxes that tap into the grid so that you can pull enough power to charge a bunch of electric vehicles at the same time and that's about it there's not a ton of moving parts the service of them is not that complicated it's not that expensive and that's how tesla is able to rapidly deploy so many supercharging stations at the same time and yes even version 3 supercharging is quite a bit slower than a battery swap but it's not terribly slow and there's reason to believe that in time as battery chemistry gets better that tesla will be able to roll out faster charging stations in the future at a fraction of the price compared to what it would cost to put battery swapping stations everywhere. So I don't think it's a completely useless technology. I don't think Neo is going to abandon the concept entirely. I just think that once they start selling more and more vehicles and more people start switching to electric, Neo might discover how impractical it is to assume everybody can do this. And the fact that you can get, you know, 150 miles of charge within 10 to 15 minutes from a version 3 supercharger, I think people are okay with and knowing that they get to treat their battery how they want to. They get to fast charge them. They get to decide how bad the degradation is on their particular vehicle. It makes people feel a bit more comfortable than going to a station and getting some other battery pack that could be used by, you know, 10 other people on the road that were driving around with it. And of course, there's a common concern I've seen brought up a lot online with people that live in areas with rough climates, especially colder areas that have a lot of salt on the road and they know how that damages the bottom of the vehicle or places where people do a lot of off-roading and 
or driving in the dirt and the gravel and how that could affect the underside of the car. How is that going to affect the swapping station and how is that going to affect the battery? You know, you don't want to go to a battery swap station and get some rusty old dirty battery pack that someone used before you. But there, again, are a ton of benefits that involve, you know, the latest generation battery chemistry, the speed of going up to 100%, all kinds of benefits with going with the swappable route. But ultimately, I think long term and with everybody switching over to electric vehicles probably won't work and it would probably cost too much compared to just expanding a fast charging network like Tesla is doing. So I admire it. I respect it. I think it's really cool, but I don't think Tesla necessarily sees it as being worth it for them. And many other electric car companies may feel the same way. And I think Neo might start to feel the same way once they start delivering vehicles in a massive scale. What do you guys think of battery swapping versus just recharging it though? Feel free to hit me up over on Twitter, join my Discord, and we can chat more about it there. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.